Hey guys, what's going on? Kyle Kruger here. Um, so today is a Q&A and I'm like in a really good mood. So this one's gonna be good. I'm gonna pop open my favorite club soda. So, hold on. How's my hair look? Does it look okay? Ooh, it's a little dark. I don't know if you noticed, but my hair is a new color. We're back to black-ish. Dark brown. It's a little dark. Anaya asks, how does it feel to have a famous sister? P.S. I love you. Well, I love you too. And I'll have you know, the other day at the eye doctor, some guy asked Allie if she was my sister from someone who follows me on Instagram. So who's the famous one now? Can you deal with that? I am on another level today and we just started. And Jay asks, what was the scariest part about starting a YouTube page and how do you overcome it? Jay, that's such a good question. I've been wanting to talk about this for a long time. I was really scared for everyone to hear what my voice sounded like. I was really scared to sound as effeminate as I am. And I've had a lot of shame growing up about how like gay I sound. And I was really worried in my 20s about like, you know, talking to people, I was would drop my voice. It's like I was pretending to be something that I wasn't because I wanted to impress people that I don't even really know or care about. So like, what is the point? It felt so exhausting to like, try to like, hey, like I'm just gonna drop my voice like this and I'm gonna be like, hey guys, what's going on? Like, I'm just like so, like what in the world is that? Like, I, I sound like an idiot. You know what actually gave me a lot of strength is seeing my friends who also make videos and them actually being fully themselves and being so confident. What has been a single aha moment in your life that changed your outlook on life? Virginia, that's such a nice question. You know, like there was one time, so the one thing that I remember that was like a really big aha moment for me was that I actually lasted one year, that I actually didn't drink one day at a time for a whole year. And that was a huge thing for me. Now I have a life beyond my wildest dreams and I would have never thought that that was possible. And one year is the hardest one to get and I just cherish it the most. Taylor Swift calls and says she wants you on stage with her. What is your reaction? I'd be like this. Oh God, help me. Whenever Allie and Ashlyn got to walk down the stage holding her hand, ugh, bitches. Do you shave, trim, or wax your hair down under? Well. This is getting very personal very fast. And I just like manicure it, you know, like make sure it looks nice and neat. Kyle, what is your favorite song at the moment? I am just so obsessed right now with Sia's song, Alive. She demolishes that song. And I feel like it's so great because she doesn't give a shit that her voice is cracking all up in that song because ain't no one hanging out in that range anyway but her. How confident are you that you can score PK on Ashlyn Harris? I am absolutely confident. That she ain't got shit on me. So I'm coming for you, girl. Brick wall, my ass. Ask which of Allie's games is your favorite besides the World Cup final? When Allie scored her PK against Brazil last World Cup. And I was sitting at a bar in the West Village in New York and they went to PKs and it's coming up to like the fifth kicker. And I'm like, who's gonna take the kick? Like, you know, like who could possibly take the last kick? And that bitch <laughs> walks up. Oh my God, I was so scared. Like I just, you know, like it was a lot. When she put that goal in the back of the net, I jumped on top of the bar. Like my Krieger fever was like through the roof. She had 110 temperature. Like it was a mess. This question comes from Anonymous on Tumblr. He said, girl, have you ever been with a girl before? Um, yes, I have, if you can believe that. Four girls in high school. This is Anonymous from Tumblr and they asked, could you explain your 567 tattoo? This is my 567 tattoo. It's right here. We'll do a little dance, okay. It is actually my sobriety date. And that was May 6th, 2007. Angela, she asked, what was the first thing that you said to Allie when she won the World Cup? I was maybe like, you know, 20, 30 yards away, screaming like Allie and like waving, but it was like so many people that right as she like turned away, I think someone tapped on her shoulder and she saw me. And as soon as she saw me, she started crying and oh. She ran over to me and she was just like, <laughs> I don't even know what I said actually. Like I was just like, I can't you know, I just can't believe that you did it. I was just so happy. This brings back so much emotion, you know, like, whew. I think I just said I love you. You know, like, I just think I said I love you and I'm so proud. Whew. I mean, can you guys believe it? Fuck, man. At yo, Jessa. She asks, favorite motto? My favorite motto is don't say maybe when you want to say no. If you could tour with any artist as their hairstylist, who would you tour with and why? 
Um, I would definitely want to tour with, I think, Sam Smith. Like, I just think that he is so incredible. I respect him because he is an out gay artist. He puts out beautiful music. He has an incredible voice. The idea of going on a world tour with someone like that, who is just like nailing it, is a dream job to me. The next question comes from Abe. <laughs> she asks, is Crashlin real? Yes. Crashlin is so real. I know everyone has been waiting so long to hear that Kyle Krieger and Ashlyn Harris are a couple. That is the best Crashlin that you could ever imagine, right? Crashlin, Crashlin. That's my girl. We are definitely real. We are definitely dating. We are definitely getting married. And y'all can come to the wedding because it's going to be a hoot. And like a beach theme. You know, she likes to surf and everything. Allie can be my best man. <laughs> okay, sorry. I just cracked myself up. So the next question is from Morgan. She asks, what's your most embarrassing story? Mm. I take naked photos of myself for a quarter of a million people to see every single day, so I don't get embarrassed too easy, but I am very embarrassed on the behalf of Madonna. Not Instagram, because girl, those photos. <laughs> no shade, no shade. Okay guys, so thanks for tuning in today. I'm so glad you guys just submitted all those questions. It was so nice that you did that. I'm Kyle Krieger Hair on Instagram, on Twitter, and on Snapchat. And also, make sure you like this video and you can subscribe to my channel. I would love that. And I'll see you guys soon, okay? Bye, guys.